Good morning, my friends. It's Wednesday, April 19th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I am on the Mississippi River in Memphis at a conference. In lieu of a piece of art, I wanna show you the Mississippi River this morning. The sun is just rising, the birds are singing. And you can hear the cars on the bridge not too far away. Beautiful day in Memphis, Tennessee. We continue this morning in the book of Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar has had some bad dreams. They're preventing him from sleeping and he's called in soothsayers and all kinds of people telling them that if he, if they can interpret his dreams, he'll reward them with great treasure. But if he, they can interpret his dreams, he'll cut them to pieces, which terrifies them so they won't interpret the dreams. Daniel consults his friends and prays to God that he would be given the interpretation. So Daniel doesn't immediately understand the dreams, but God grants him the interpretation, which he then brings to Nebuchadnezzar. But before he begins to explain the dreams, he explains to Nebuchadnezzar that this, this interpretation is not from him, but from God who granted it to him so that God might want Nebuchadnezzar to understand his own mind. God wants Nebuchadnezzar to understand his own mind. God wants us all to understand our minds, to understand the circular thoughts that go around and around, the strange dreams that plague us. Like I dreamt I had drank Coca-Cola all night last night. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. To try to understand ourselves is part of God's call to us. And God wanted this man, this, this emperor, to to understand his mind. So don't be afraid to look at the landscape of your mind. I know it's a strange place with often things you don't understand, but you can try. I think God wants us to know ourselves more and more, especially as we mature in age, and to love ourselves with all our idiosyncrasies. Because when we know our minds, we'll be able to know when God is speaking to us as opposed to our own repetitive thoughts or ruminations. We'll be able to know inspiration. We'll be able to know new ideas and new life. If we know the minds in which we dwell, in which God would speak. Let us pray. We thank you, almighty God, for the gift of this day. We ask that you would bless us today to know you and to love you and to know our own minds, our thoughts that run often repetitive, to know them like old friends, the positive and the negative, but also to know when something new comes to us that may be from you, some inspiration, some new thought, some creative burst. For you are the creator, the one who makes all things original. And we long to know your voice and your song. We ask that you would bless the sick today, Lord Christ, that you would bless those who mourn, those who are hungry or in pain, those who are lonely, those who struggle with addiction, mental illness, we ask that you would grant us wisdom to do your work in this world today, to seek after justice, to care for this earth, and to provide for those in need. We ask you to bring peace to this whole world, and especially to this country here today, and this city of Memphis that has been torn apart by violence. All this we ask in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.